Welcome back. Oh yeah. I got a headache. We all do. It sounds just like these bells, actually. Well, that probably means you have a concussion. I'd, I'd get that checked out if I were you. Well, I must have one, because I thought this was a good idea. Well, yeah. This is actually a clear symptom of, you know, a grade 3 concussion. A grade 3? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know there were or grades. Whatever. Yep. Oh. You know, like third degree burns. Concussions are concussions work like that, right? Yeah, yeah, they do. Um, now that you mention it, I'm glad you brought this up. It's a perfect segue into a uh, candle flashing. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know why I'm doing this. There's no point. I think I just do it out of habit now. Well, if you look down at the uh, the length of the video, it's a perfect slow burn. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, shut up. <laughs> That's not what I wanted at all. What's I, your problem? I, on it, honest to God, I didn't realize the pun until like a second before I said it. <laughs> I'm glad you thought please, of it, because if you did it, then someone would have. I didn't mean to make the pun. Please don't probate me. <laughs> well, the, you're, I'm the one posting the video, if anything. <laughs> yeah, probate him. Yeah, this is, uh... <laughs> this is gonna come up in my next court hearing as evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, what were you doing last night? Red Rust. The defendant has been legally declared insane. I feel like that kid from The Shining. <laughs> then I'll just run all around the place just writing Surter on the walls. <laughs> and, I, and I'm trying to go into my head, well, is that really Red Rust spelled backwards? Yes. <laughs> Surter! Surter! Red Rust spelled backwards is Fred Durst. Why is everyone referencing him lately? And oh, once shit, again, I'll have to I have to refer to the rebuttal of man, it's like the late 90s all over again. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Woodstock 99 up in this motherfucker. Oh god. All right, I had to do a quick transition there. So now we're hanging out back here in the Marvel Gallery. Did um, we miss anything? What? Did we miss anything in that transition? No, I went through the outer wall and I went down to this place. I think I actually had to backtrack a little bit because I kept getting hit by shit and I had to save. Or use a save room or something stupid like that. I don't fucking know. It's like edits and transitions. This is like, this is feature film status right here. Yeah, I should have done like a uh, wipe transition. Bad Windows Movie Maker transitions. Well, yeah, if you notice, uh, one of my friends actually went to go see The Phantom Menace in 3D, and um, oh, apparently the white transition in 3D is, will fucking blow your mind, apparently. It's like, oh my god, it looks like little sparkles and particle effects floating at your face, and I'm like, I'm not sure that was intended. See, this is what this video should have been in. It should have been in 3D. We go from, like, Red Rust the Musical to Red Rust the Movie. Now we go to Red Rust the Movie in 3D. Well, don't worry. Uh, my next uh, my next idea for an LP is I'm going to use the 3D camera on my 3DS. So it'll be a camcorder LP, sadly. But uh, I, I will record it in 3D, post it on YouTube, and you can watch it in 3D. It's almost like you're sitting in front of an actual TV watching something. It, it sucks for me because I don't have any 3D glasses. I just got the shitty, like, red and blue flimsy paper glasses. I have those too. I also have, like, the real 3D glasses from, like, movie theaters. Because apparently it's not real 3D unless you look like you wear your sunglasses at night. Which I do. Yeah, so do I. So I can, so I can. Huh? What? 
No, that Come doesn't on. even make sense. That that well, that's how the lyrics go. But that's not how it. The main, the, the, the. Okay. Okay, I was gonna say like, you know, if you don't get that. I get that. Dude, I, I get that. Okay, it's good. just that the lyrics just don't make sense for that fucking bar. It's like, it's, so you what? So, so I don't. He can, uh, so he can. So he. What's not to understand? So he can. So he can. Yeah. yeah. What if he can't? But he can, because he wears his sunglasses at night. That's just how it goes. I like how we're talking about anything but the game right now. Uh. Five so this in, is a loading we've, room. We've got 55 minutes to go, people. And this just is all like, Rox's quarters. And just, these are guys with boomerangs. Okay, now back about the sunglasses again. I actually, I think Alucard's wearing sunglasses right now. <laughs> yeah, but it's not nice, though. Is yes, it? it is. Didn't you see the moon, like, five minutes ago? When we were running around yeah, the but castle it keep? It doesn't count because he's not outside. He was he outside. outside. He probably took his sunglasses off outside. That poser. Yeah, he's wearing those, like, thick rim nerd glasses like a fucking hipster. Nah. nah, he's got the most hipster thing is fucking the real 3D glasses where I'm outside the theater, but with the lenses popped out. Yeah, most likely. Oh, hey, we're at the Coliseum now. We're like doing transitions from like all these different areas in a short span of time. So it's a little awkward and might be a little bit confusing to keep up. But we're in the Coliseum now. Uh, you might remember this, actually, from when I decided, you know what, maybe I should just stream this and just do a live recording so everyone can understand the, the thought process and the, like, how much effort goes into doing Red Rust. But that ended horribly, and uh, I accidentally threw some holy water, probably because I was rolling the analog stick like an idiot. But I assure so, you, this time, this is going to go better for you. You're going to like this. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to laugh your fucking ass off. So what you're telling me is that this requires some prerequisite viewing? No. Um, this is because you saw it once before. I didn't. I mean, why would I watch a Red Rust run? Are you kidding me? Well, you did watch it that one time I streamed. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much it. Where I was just, like, making fun of Castlevania in, like, really broken Japanese. Yep. Good times. Good times. Very good times. <laughs> All right, but now... I asked I ask if there's any prerequisite viewing, because I don't want our lovely, lovely viewers to get lost. Um, you know. Did you watch the other videos? <laughs> no, I have not seen um, episode one. Open hell's the Phantom gate. Menace. Come forth, my servants. Oh, okay. Crush this flea who invades my castle. <laughs> I fucking love the voice acting in this game. I don't fucking care. Sure, there's a remake for the PSP, but fuck. <laughs> if you don't like the voice acting, the original voice acting, just close the video right now. Wait, what? <laughs> we don't want you watching. This is like saying if you don't like the original commentary for the other videos, then you should watch our videos. Yep. Because we know how to make things fun and interesting and fresh. We we'll talk about Star Wars. Yep. It's very relatable. And and hipsters and yeah, true. three. But uh, if you remember when. Uh, I was streaming this that one time. This was fucking impossible. And now look at it. I wrecked. Certain that was a Belmont. So he says he's the lord of this castle. I wrecked Coming him, and now it's time to go after the lord of this castle. And wreck him. Wreck his shit. Yeah, pretty much. Well, actually, we won't see him for a while, but I'm, I'm gonna wreck him pretty badly. Oh, that was pretty smooth. I didn't touch that button there to open up that elevator. Uh, well, I slid across it and jumped off just in time, but I felt bad, so I had to go back and like press the button fully. 
did you did you ever have video of that stream um, when you were just getting wrecked by those dudes? If I did, I deleted it. Yeah. So that was that was just, awful. Yeah. Like, how many times I'm, did I'm I do it again? Like, I don't know. At least twenty. So so just picture that, people, doing that fight along with the uh, opening cutscene. Just. About 20 times over. And then you got me in the background screaming, uh. You started to recite, actually, the, uh. the cutscene. After, like, the seventh time. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just switched to broken Japanese and then, um. German. For some reason. I had German on the brain. Well, why not? We're close to Austria. We're only in Romania. For those that don't know, me and Rebels here are actually sitting on doorsteps in Transylvania. Uh, oh, yeah. In lawn it, chairs it, watching this on my laptop. Yeah, like, it's pretty nice here. It's a little cold for my taste, but, you uh, know, it's a nice place. used to it. I mean, I would live in the cold. I mean, for fuck's sakes, we had snow here today. Uh, no one knew it was going to snow, not even like the weather forecasters or anything like that. We, I just woke up, snow on the ground, I'm like, what the hell? Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, I, re I remember reading about that, like, how do blizzards just get here? That doesn't happen. Yeah, exactly, I'm just like, what the hell, huh? But you don't have to deal with that kind of shit in Transylvania. Yeah, you do. Kind of do. Well, the weather right here is, is nice right now. A little cold, but it's nice. Also, I like to mention I like how you open up that bookcase by like pressing your face up against it. <laughs> well, just... how would you open a bookcase? Well, I wouldn't press my face up against it. I mean, I know I'll like push it out of the way, but why don't I just headbutt it and knock it over? Well, you see, that's not how you open bookcases. You you press them with your face. You don't just headbutt like a madman. Yeah, you do. I mean, I headbutt bookcases for fun, but I don't do it when I need to open them. Well, okay, fine. But, you know, it is a Aluc nice sport to do at a library. Alucard knows what he's doing. Yeah, kind of. Oh yeah, these are, I guess I should be informative, uh, Mudmen are exclusive enemies in this fight. They do weird attacks. Like that. Like that. <laughs> there, I've met my informative quota for this video. Also, those books are really huge. 13 minutes in, and we will never be informative in this video again. Well, I did inform people that those books are huge. I can also point out the obvious that those books are... There's four books, and they're huge. Wait, what are the books? Huge. Okay, I wrote, I wrote it down in my notes. You yeah, it's huge? Books Fucking are books. huge. It's great, because it's like 2.30 in the goddamn morning. More like 15 minutes into this. Actually, 14. I can't count, because it's late. So this is going to be quite the ride. I can't I can't wait for us to get to the more interesting stuff. It's not 2.30 in Transylvania, is it? I'm actually going to look this up right I'm now. looking at my watch right now. It says 2.30 in the morning. Well, I'm looking at my watch, and it says 11.27. Why didn't? Why did we not set our watches for Transylvanian time? I don't know. Can you tell the sun to knock it off? <laughs> like I'm, I'm actually like legit looking that up right now. What time is it in Transylvania? It's about seven hours from my time, so uh, nine thirty about. I mean, I mean, 
we know that because we're in Transdominia, but I'm just saying. Well, that's why I said that the sun was up. Because I'm smart and know how to look at a sun. Oh, is that a sun over there? No, that's the fucking baby sun from Teletubbies. You dumbass. It's a sun. <laughs> These are strawberries. <laughs> It, it sucks that I'm not using familiars for this playthrough because I could always just use the excuse that we're role playing and you're the familiar and I'm Alucard and we're just having these obnoxious conversations as we venture through the castle. Yeah, but nobody wants to hear that. They want to hear about Transylvania and Red Rust. Red Rust and 3D and Hipsters and. The yeah. <laughs> and huge books, I forgot about that. Huge Shit. books. Um, yeah, those huge books. This isn't where I parked my car. I have the mind of like a 10 year old, so I'm thinking that my Woody translation subtitles, well, transition subtitles, I should say, are funny. Uh, but because it's 2 30 in the morning. Uh, in my town, even though it's 9... Why the fuck am I going on with this? Oh, that's right, because it's 2.30 in the morning and I'm finding everything funny. I'm taking a nap on my desk right now. Going to bed with the lulling, gentle sounds of Red Rust. The musical. You know that, uh, you know that noise that Alucard makes when he gets stunned when he's attacking? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, put that on repeat ad nauseum. That's my alarm clock. Oh, jeez. <laughs> are, you, are you being legit with that? Because that actually would make, like, the worst alarm clock in the world. And therefore, like, kind of brilliant for an alarm clock. Well, what would happen is that... Like, that would go off, but the thing is, I'll wake up, and I'll see, like, Alucard in wolf form, like, humping my leg or something. Is that one of your good dreams? <laughs> yes, exactly. That's one of my good dreams. What the fuck are you trying to say? <laughs> no, I'm not saying anything. I'm not, I'm not insinuating Are you drawing fan art right now? Maybe. Oh, god damn you. I'm... T that's why I was taking the notes on the books. I'm trying to get some reference art going here. Amazing. <laughs> I might somebody have to strangle myself after this video. Somebody in the thread, please draw that. No, no. All th don't all encourage three people. If any three of you watching right now can draw, please draw that. You know there's like... 17 people that watch this, right? Oh shit, really? Fuck. I've counted. And they're this... By looking at the, um... Are we including ourselves? Uh, yeah. Sadly. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna relax here, because Polarox is... Oh, fuck! He's throwing bats! What a bastard. Offers me a seat, retaliates with bats. What, did I not sit properly? Well, you did kind of disrespect him. Did you see the way, like, Alucard was just, like, slouching in the chair? Come on. Well, he Show was... some respect. Have a little bit of posture going. Well, Alucard's hip and young and cool. He doesn't take any shit from the man. I mean, he's so in what his you... dad's pad right now, wrecking shit up. So what you're saying is that he's a hipster? He is wearing his sunglasses at night. And that's another reason why he's pissed. He's like, take off your glasses, you little shit. Back in my day, kids did not wear their sunglasses at night, so they can, so they can. What the fuck does that even mean? It doesn't mean a thing. That... It doesn't mean anything. There's no reason to... So you can. So I can. 
There is another lyric after that, but fuck if I know it. I don't think anyone knows that. People are going to like AZ lyrics or E lyrics or something right now to look it up and be like, I Song remember meetings. it! As they're typing it in. I totally remember it. I'm not looking it up. I'm going to song meanings right now to look up the interpretation <laughs> of this highly complicated song. Might as well, we're in a boss fight right now. But that'd be rude to him, you know. He offers you a seat, you slouch in your chair, you're wearing your sunglasses at night, and you're just checking song meanings. You know, what, what kind what? of guest are you? What? You're being a bad guest, and he's trying to be a good host. He's no, even trying he's to entertain not. you by turning into a green alien. This is self-defense. He threw bats at me first. I didn't attack until afterwards. Those weren't even bats. Those were piñatas. Why is he throwing piñatas at me? He's trying to entertain you. That's and you're not just entertaining. Going in... You're just going in here fucking his shit up. Man, I wouldn't invite you to my house. What's wrong with you? Who said that I was... That... This is not... I'm not... It, he threw bats at me. I hit him in face with red rust. That's how it goes, okay? That's just how it goes. I'm never inviting you to my parties. Good, because I'm not getting you any presents. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Come on, man. No, I'm gonna be like that. You won't invite me over to your house, why should I get you a present? Because, because you know... No, I don't. Good... Come on, don't be like that, man. Next time I come over to your house, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna sit in the seat, but if I swear to God, if you throw any piñatas at me, I'm smacking you in the face with my long red sword. <laughs> I said sword, by the way. <laughs> Just letting you know. You, you can you can sit in the chair how you want, but I can't promise no pinatas. If someone throws anything at me, I'm hitting them in the face. If somebody throws anything at me, I'm pulling out my long red. No, just oh, my did you see that? Old Rocks was headbanging right there. I think the music's kind of getting to him. He's got a headache too. No, he doesn't have a headache. He's just like headbanging to the music. He's got this like old pyrotechnics going on. See, look at him go. It's metal as fuck. Hell yeah. I think I'm gonna like put the sprite of his, like when he's transformed like that. I'm gonna put it on the front of my drum kit. And I don't even play drums. Orlock's Headbanging, that's the name of my new band, by the way. Very nice name. But yeah, the only reason we came into Orlock's quarters and wrecked his dining room set in his perfect china was to uh, come over here and get an item that only has one use. And then after you use it, it's completely useless. So... Worth it? No. <laughs> it's only worth it if you want to get the true ending. No, I, think I want I the just... bad ending. I want the worst ending where you don't get the girl at the end. Yeah, I would go for that, but, um, no, I would get yelled at and told to play it right. Yeah, so what I would I would do is just be like, well, I beat the game, <laughs> after going straight to the boss. Then like, oh yeah, I beat him now, okay, I guess I'm done, I'm off the leash, I don't have to do any more red rust. Hey guys, and then get the shit kicked out of me. Yeah, because they're they're watching Red Rust for the story. 
Yeah, pretty much. I don't know why I went to the save room there. Because you can't save state. True. I didn't save or anything, I just walked in there. Normally I Who cut said, those out, but <laughs> I think I did something special in there or something. I'm like, oh, this is what a save room looks like if you haven't seen one since the first goddamn video. Just trying to Who remind says people. The... Who says the Red Rust can't save state? Um, well, me mostly because I'm playing on. <laughs> I'm playing this on the PlayStation. I'm playing this with the original game disc and everything. What the fuck is a PlayStation? Piece of shit. Is is that is that like a new emulator? Yeah. Oh okay. Pretty much. I don't know why, but I just hit myself in the nose with my microphone. I found it more entertaining than what's currently going on on the screen. We're only 26 minutes in. I am desperately counting down those seconds. Who's who? Whose fucking idea was it to make it one hour? Um, I think it was yours, actually. <laughs> <laughs> now that well, I'm thinking about it, yeah, it was. I didn't think you were going to listen. I didn't think it was actually going to be an hour long. This is... This was recorded, like, ages ago, but this was... This was pretty much a single session. I When this video ends, that's when I actually stop playing for the day. And to let people know, this was originally like an hour and 45 minute video. I actually cut out a lot of stuff. With wacky cut text. Yes, because I am a thief. I was one of the few people who, act who actually had the balls to break into uh, Mecha Prime Industries. <laughs> That's how that's how you roll. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's gonna yell at me for doing that. It's like how no, dare you can't. steal that? It's like oops. You're gonna get sued, bro. <laughs> I can't wait. But that's okay because people will look at this and I'm pretty sure no one will get past the first couple of minutes to notice that I've been stealing stuff. <laughs> I, I think you're putting too much, you're giving them too much credit. First couple of minutes, they're gonna open the video, look at the time at the bottom, and then go, No, oh, nah, I think I'm good. <laughs> Sorry, Hystrix, I like you and all, but no, no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I even convince myself to watch this. I was actually thinking about it. Just ending this off to like either you or Coinbox or someone, and having you both uh, watch it together and do the commentary <laughs> for it instead of me, because I don't want to relive this. That would have been a bad idea. That would have been a great idea. What, I think so I might can... use this idea in the future. So we can riff the fuck out of your of your video. Yeah, pretty much.